Hello there everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be working on some of the pages in this journal and decorating them up with some pockets and flips and flaps. So the first obvious one is this page which is one of the ones that um, we printed off at the beginning and I said to put it to one side. So I'm going to work with that one and the other obvious one is where I used this image here on the front cover I was left with these two here so we're going to use those first so this one move you out the way a minute I'm going to cut this off here and I love, I love this. I think it would make a beautiful tag. So I might have to print this page off again. And then this is going to be the flip page. So real easy. And then this edge here, I'm going to use my rounded pinking shears. And just trim off this edge here to give it a pretty edge. Fold it but not in half leave yourself a bit of space here so it looks like that and then I'm going to just ink up the edge here And I want a blank, a double blank. There we go. So I want a double one of those. And then that will stick on there. And then this one will stick on here. Now, because I trimmed all the papers down, the size isn't quite right. So I just need to trim off a little bit of excess on each one. So I'll go and do that. So this one's straightforward. I'm just going to put glue around the three sides. So then that will make that pocket. <coughs> and then I can glue that in place there. then this one this part here this edge here I'm going to put some invisible tape on so the majority of it will be on the page and just a little bit of it will be overhanging the edge off that excess tape and then I can glue that one there on the edge of the page and then that will flip open and then I want glue or sellotape I should say on this part here so that it forms the hinge to hold it all in place and just burnish it down and it helps it to disappear a little bit more so that will flip in and that will flip over. 
and that's the first one done. With this page I'm going to use these two up. So I'm just going to trim that down and I'm going to do it closer. I want it slightly smaller than the actual page. So I'm going to cut it as close as I can to that, this green border here. And the same on this side too. Because otherwise it will overlap the page and it will be too bulky. So I want it narrower. So that's fine. And the same on the bottom too. And then I'm going to cut it on the diagonal. So what I might do actually is use my rule and rip it. And it doesn't matter what angle you do it at, you do which one you prefer. So I think looking at it, I think I'm going to do there. And then I can ink that up. And that will be stuck down on top so that the pattern matches up and then this one I need to do the top bit Carol come on get your brain in gear I haven't had enough tea, that's what it is. It's early in the morning here and I haven't had enough tea yet. Right, so I did that one to there. So I want this one smaller. But at the same angle. So, probably about there. Ooh, pull you out. Did you like the sound effects then? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Just double check. So that the pattern still matches up. Right, I'm all right with that. Now I'm not adding like tons of lace and, and stuff inside of the journal because I want it to carry on laying flat. And if I add too much, it won't lay flat. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this one onto there. And if I have too many pockets, I can overfill them with journaling cards. And again, it won't lay flat. So I'm limiting myself as to what can go in this. Because I think if it's a writing journal, I can um, add stuff to it as I'm going along. Let's make sure I've got my pattern matching up there. Yes, okay. I'm just going to trim this side down.
And although I've done this one with um, inked this one up with walnut stain, I actually think I prefer the um, old paper. So I think that I will revert to using old paper on the majority and just the odd one or two inking up with vintage photo. Just so that this one doesn't look like the odd one out. sit on top of there just matching the pattern up here and the flower so now I've got a double double pocket on that page um, what was the next thing that I was going to do? Oh, yes. So, as you can see, look, I've still got these bits of paper with the border on. So there's no reason why I couldn't use the border. I'll just cut this one off so that you can sort of get a mental image. Although I would probably rip it rather than cut it. So you could add that as a little border on one of the pages. So then you're utilising as many bits as you possibly can and you're not left with lots of leftovers. Same with this one as well. You could do the same with that bit. So I'm not going to throw those away. I'm going to keep them. The other thing I'm going to keep is this bit. So this was where I cut out that flower to put on the front cover because this would actually make either a nice journaling card or also a tag so then you've got this then as a background so I would keep this and cut that down the same with this part here make it into a little mini bookmark so that we're using up all the leftover little bits and pieces no wastage next one is this page and I want to use this part of the image here so I'm going to make this into a ghost pocket and I'm going to very roughly, you could tear this if you wanted to, but I'm just going to cut this out to give it a slightly smoother edge. that white edge now I have an option I could stick it here so that it becomes the ghost pocket right so that it's the same underneath but there's no reason why I can't add it onto another page and have it as a pocket that way so especially where you've got these sort of um, the background papers just on their own let's just see if there's another one You know, so that I could put that one on there and leave the other page just completely blank. So I think that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink this one up with old paper and I'm going to stick it on there. So that's that one in place. And then... Those bits that I just talked to you about with the uh, leftover scraps, I could make that into a journaling card and that can sit underneath there. All right. Okay. So next one that I wanted to quickly talk to you about was this one. Let me just find my papers. Oh, 
All right, so again, I'm going to quickly cut around just the shapes of the flowers and then I'll use all of this leftovers for making either a little mini notebook or some more journaling cards. I'm going to be a little bit more precise on this one than I was on the last one. And again, you can rip this rather than cut it. And then I'm going to add a doily underneath. So that's the one that I want to use. going to cut it in half so you could um, coffee dye this you could ink spray it or you can just leave it white I'm just going to leave mine white because I think it goes better with the background pages so that will stick on there that will stick on there and I'll do the same for this side as well so tell you what let's Stick down there. Hmm, no, stick that in place first, Carol. And I'm just going to dot the glue on this. So I want it where it's solid paper and not where the holes are because otherwise the whole thing just becomes sticky when you touch it then I can stick that one down on top And then I can just check the other side of the page to see if there's any overhang and I can just trim that little bit off there and then I'll do the same with this side so that it has the other half of the doily and then the cutout image on top so I'm going to go off and go and do that I think I might even make myself a brew and I'll see you back here in a minute So that's that page now complete so that you've now got a double tuck spot so underneath the doily and underneath the flowers but you've got to be careful because it will catch on the doily underneath so it will hold two journaling cards that side and it'll hold two on this side as well okay. Now I'm going to work on this page next but I'm going to end this video because my phone will only hold so much video and then it will go uh, uh, not working so I'm going to do a second video showing how I'm going to utilize the pages in the journal to decorate it up so I'm going to fussy cut this one out and use that as a pocket and then I'm going to use this page to create a belly band so I'll see you in the next video bye for now bye